Lily. Thomas. You are here. I can feel it. Hmm. No, don't do this to me. Burnt to a crisp. Guess I should look for a spare. Damn it. As long as we don't have to avoid that thing anymore, but something tells me we, we are. <clears throat> uh, excuse me. Here's what. Crossed out. I know. I think I know. The powers come from the same place, but they can manifest in different ways. She seems to exist in both places, as if her mind can inhabit two bodies at the same time. To her, whatever happens in one place affects the other. Does she see the line between the two, or are they one and the same? New hypothesis. Death thins out the veil between worlds, so that a newborn mind never has to spit or split. <laughs> Makes sense in a weird, fucked up way. Y'all gonna give this to me? Hey, I know this one. Used to be one of my favorites. Hmm. Okay. Uh, wait. Vitamins, antibiotics, neuroleptics, antidepressants. Even by my standards, that's a lot of pills. Fuck, man. Okay, here we go. <gasps> here we go. Ah, oh, yes. Fuse. Bust it open. From the inside. Yeah, do I really want to go in here yet? I don't know if I do or not. This was definitely Lily's place. Where he kept her. Quite the selection. So she could doll herself up with no one to see her. Maybe he meant well, but somehow this just feels sadistic. Oh. <sighs> She'd be a grown woman by now, but the room is still all dolls and unicorns. Little windows into the world. It's something, I guess. Sunshine doesn't really translate to text, though. Again with the salt. The whole room is lined with it. Imagine being locked up in this place, having a needle shoved into your arm day in, day out. You didn't deserve this, Lily. Yeah. Salt. Who knew it was that simple? A bit of alchemy, some spiritual infusion, and there you have it. Looks like the folk tales were true, after all. Anyway, the room is ready, and it works. It actually works! For the first time in my life, I can feel alone. It feels fucking wonderful. Okay. Let's do this. Let's go put this fuse back. And get the fuck out of here! I don't dig underground, creepy-ass areas like this. Wait a minute. No, this is not where we're going. We're going this way, I think. To our left. Here we go. Oh, 
shit. Too much power. Oh. Alright. There we go. Can't there be light. Nice decor. Very uh, minimalist. Mm. Huh. Mold. It looks pretty fresh. Someone's been here recently. Hmm. If I find enough pieces, I might be able to get to the other side. Better get to it, Alice. Do we really want to go there now, though? It's quiet now. Just me and her. Just me and her. It feels strange, but in a good way. How it should be. I best enjoy it while it lasts. Already started moving the workshop over to the hotel. If anything happens, I don't want her anywhere near it. I'm going in soon to get him back. This only ends in one of two ways. Either both of us are coming back or neither. Okay. Here's one. So far, so good. Okay. Here we fucking go. Are there any pieces around here? How many pieces do we need? Wait a minute, I haven't been in here yet. This place just keeps opening up. There. Another one. Another one bites the dust. Man, listen to these tunes. This is seriously like some Stranger Things shit. Looks like he could never quite let go of his passion. In another life, perhaps. Huh. I feel like I'm gonna get copyrighted in this video. <laughs> she almost saw me today. Sense me. I should have known. I need to be more careful. Keep my distance. Crossed out. It's just that. Crossed out. I just... Not a day goes by that I don't think of her. Crossed out, I think. I know I did the right thing leaving her at the hospital. It's better this way. She's better this way. But I keep thinking of that day when it finally happens, when she discovers what she really is. She'll be confused, afraid. I should be there for her, to help her make sense of it all, to tell her it's all right. No! She'll make it through. She's strong, just like her mother. These scars this should be enough. Let's make magic happen. Alright. This was definitely Thomas's workspace. I can sense the determination. Whatever he was working on, and he gave it his all. Were you trying to send the monster away? Or to get your other self back? Huh. Okay. Wait a minute, what is this? Funeral home, the last goodbye, Jack Orkin, telephone number 12644-6433. DON'T! Okay. Wait a sec. I've looked at that book though, never mind. Alright, let's head back.
Here we fucking go. I'm really nervous about this. And there it was. The moment we finally met. Up world. Oh, yeah. When you you sent him away, I could I could finally break free. That's why you're so important. You can finish this. Where is he? Where is my father? I, I don't know. I... <sighs> For the first time in my life, I... I, I don't... Feel his presence. I, I've been away for so long. What happened to her? What is this place? This is where he kept her. Oh. That cell back there. It only exists in one world. 
keeps the other one out. He built it so that he could be alone. It's the only place he could feel. Separated from his powers. From me. Came in handy. Once Lily became unstable. Unstable? What do you mean? She's a medium too, Marianne. A powerful one. Guess it runs in the family. When Richard... When Richard hurt her, it awoke something inside her. Something... something terrible. It was only a matter of time before it got out. It's what your father feared. What he tried to avoid. That's why he called me. But that means... Yes. She's still alive. There's still a way to save her. You have to find her, Marianne. Where is she? Where is my sister? I can. I'm not leaving you. This is getting weirder and weirder, man. But making more sense, somewhat. I'm really loving the hell out of this game. This is it. The place from my dream. I've walked this path a thousand times in my mind. I know every inch of it. But this time... Something is different. This game has definitely been slower, but I've really enjoyed it. You know, it's been a very laid back experience. When we're not being chased by that fucking monster. <laughs> I'm just gonna take my time, man, because I think we're we're approaching the end pretty soon. Which is sad. I can't feel it. I'm getting close. I can feel it. 
I can feel it so clearly now. Pieces left on the floor. Drawn to light once more. I step outside. I shut the door. Damn, dude. What's gonna happen, man? This is it. Oh my god, here we go. So sorry. It's okay. It was better that way. At least you had a life. For a while. Lillian. Yeah. That day. That day when the fire broke out at our house. I made a deal. The part of my soul that was tormented was set loose. You mean the monster? But why? To save you. It helped us escape the flames, but in return, I had to set it free. Free to devour. To destroy. To kill. An even massacre. Yes. All those people died so that we could live. Because I lived, so did my demons. Father knew my powers were too dangerous. He left you at the hospital so you could have a normal life. And what about you? Did he try to... No. Maybe he should have. But he couldn't bring himself to do it. Instead, he locked me away. But he only delayed the inevitable. Monster, he got out. You're here. You're the only one who can fix this. You. We both share our father's gifts, but also his fate. And the dream. It's a girl. You. Shot dead. Here, on this pier. Hasn't it already happened? No. It's 
not the past you see. The dream. It's what I want to have. can't send a spirit away while the host is still alive. That's why you couldn't destroy the monster. That's why Sadness didn't want to go. But... You're my sister. That's why it has to be you. I... I'm not strong enough. It... it won't let me. Only you can end this. Only you can fix what our father could not. But Leanna, I can't. Please, don't I'm make sorry. me do this. It's the only way to destroy it. To prevent further bloodshed. Lily? <laughs> oh. Marianne? What's going on? Skin suit. Now too soon. There is another way. Marianne. No! What is she doing? It's just nothing. Nothing! You said. I'm your only chance! Aren't I? You need me. A medium strong enough to sustain you. The others? They only lasted for so long before you broke them down. Marianne, please, I don't want this. Maybe it's not your choice. Maybe this is my story after all. No! Stop doing this! Please, sister, set me free. No! Stay back! Stay back! It all starts with a dead girl. Damn! Okay, that's it? Holy shit! Wow! Alright, um... That was really good, man. I really, really enjoyed that. Honestly, I had a lot of fun with this game. I know I was literally just given my little mini review like a couple minutes ago as I was walking through that that last little stretch there but this was a definitely a bit of a slower game but I dug it man I had I had quite a bit of fun with it you know the the parts where you had to avoid um the maw which is what that thing is called by the way the the creature I looked it up a long time ago I knew what what it was called when I started playing this game I just didn't want to spoil it for y'all but um yeah man uh, I really need to like look up a video um, <laughs> explaining the story because there are bits of the story that are confusing to me but overall like I thought this was a solid fucking game man um, you know it was a little buggy there was a lot of lag or not a lot of lag but a little bit of lag here and there but overall like this was a solid game man I had a lot of fun with it um I like these games where you just walk around and interact with stuff, you know? I didn't expect it to end so fucking quick, but 
Man. Troy Baker, there it is. The mall. Fucking amazing. Um, yeah, I, I don't really know what else to say that I haven't, you know, already said. This game was very unique to me. The concept and everything alone is what sold me on this game and made me want to go out and buy it. Um, and in the end, I think this game was worth my time. So, um, yeah, I mean, if I were to rate this game, I'd probably give it like a 9 out of 10. I feel like the story was like the perfect length. You know, I know I knew we were close to the end, but I didn't know how close to the end we were, so... Um, overall, I thought this game was pretty solid. Uh, I need to do my own research, a little bit of my own research to figure out what the fuck happened and what was going on with the story, but I feel like this is definitely one of those games where if you pay attention to every little thing, you will get the story. It just is a little tricky. It requires you to, to think a bit, so... I feel like I've talked on for long enough. I'm gonna shut the fuck up and let the... <coughs> shit! Excuse me. Credits play out, so... If y'all enjoyed this, consider following and subscribing, and... I'll see you guys on my next playthrough. After this one. Peace! Voices in my